Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Contributing Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. So, can designing something be as simple as one, two, three? Step one, you design something in a computer. Step two, you show it to a few friends and strangers for input. Then step three, you make it. Or you let somebody else make it for you for a reasonable fee. Well, that is certainly the idea behind Autodesk's latest initiative called 123D. It's a free 3D modeling software for those who might not have CAD or 3D modeling background. The software launched in May, and it was also the debut of a new 123D online community where you can share your work with others. And the final step, if you want, you can get your design printed by a service bureau in 3D or go to a local tech shop location and make it yourself. Well, let's take a look at the software first. It's a free download currently in beta release. And if you're familiar with Autodesk Inventor Fusion, you'll notice the similarities between 123D's interface and Fusion's. In fact, 123D to me feels like a slightly stripped down version of Autodesk Inventor Fusion. This is still a CAD program, so you'll have to give yourself some time to learn the commands and menus, especially if you're not familiar with CAD. There is the sketching environment along with spline drawing tools. And there is also an easy way to create basic geometric blocks, or known as primitive shapes. It's fairly easy to perform typical mechanical modeling functions like placing a chamfer on an edge or extruding a profile into a solid block. Since this is also based on inventive fusion, it doesn't give you a history tree or a feature tree like a parametric CAD program. Instead, it gives you a solid geometric block you can create on the fly by simply pushing and pulling on the faces and features or by rotating faces and features. There are some more complex commands too, like sweeping profiles and lofting. Maybe because it's a beta release, but in some cases I wish the step-by-step -step text prompts have been a bit more clear. To sweep, for instance, you don't only need to pick the profile and the path, but also to turn on something called the Boolean glyph and choose the new component option. And if you don't do those two final steps, you probably wouldn't see a preview of the sweep or be able to finish the command. If you're a fairly sophisticated CAD user and want to do pattern features or mirrored parts, you can do that in 123D2. Also, there is a tool called Freeform, which lets you pick certain splines and edges and reshape its position and profile by manipulating the control points. The same command also gives you Symmetry, which lets you put a hypothetical plane that works like a center divider, then automatically reshape your geometry from one side to reflect on the other side. 123D is a fairly sophisticated modeling program. For better or worse, it's not Autodesk version of simple SketchUp. So you can't just expect to pick it up and use it immediately. 123D still 
behaves and speaks like a CAD program, extruding profiles and inserting work planes and so on are protocols that are much more familiar with CAD users, for example. I'd say that in terms of functionality and learning curve, it's somewhere between SketchUp and Autodesk Inventor. In the beta release I tried out, I find the interface to be a bit too sparse. I could find my way around the program, but only because I'm already familiar with CAD and know what comes next after I execute certain commands. But if this is intended for the hobbyist, enthusiast, and do-it-yourself crowd, it might need a little more built-in guides and text prompts to walk them through certain modeling operations. The system requirements are pretty high too. Recommended 2 GHz or faster with 1 GB of RAM. If you don't have enough or have barely enough horsepower in your computer, in some cases you might find that the software's responses are a bit slow. It takes a moment to think before it performs your command. The beta release is a great preview and a teaser, I think. So, with some interface and code refinement, Autodesk 123D could become an attractive modeler for the do-it-yourself crowd and a hobbyist. A new market for the historically professional-driven Autodesk. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine signing off from his report on 123D with a countdown. 1, 2, 3.